Okay, the first thing we've got to talk about is your injury and how severe it is. And how did it happen, Chels? Um, well, I got hit Friday night and, um... This is going back to the Northwest yeah, Tournament. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I kind of went really blurry for a second and then just really groggy the rest of the game. And I talked to Jeff a little bit afterwards and he was like, well, we'll see tomorrow when you warm up and see how you're feeling and everything. And I felt the exact same. I didn't really have a headache until I laid down and nothing really too bad. And then Saturday I got hit again. And I got taken out, and Jeff was asking me how I was feeling, and I felt the exact same. And then after the game, he told me if I had a headache or I felt like I was going to get sick or anything, then I needed to go to the ER. And so I had a really bad headache Saturday night, and I was like, I'll just sleep through it, try to get through it. Sure. And then um, Sunday morning, I felt like I was going to get sick and everything, so I called my parents, and they told me to go to the ER. So... And then the doctor there told me I had a mild concussion. So. Well, let's go back through it then. You get hit on Friday night, and you felt a little blurry. What was that yeah. like to play like that? Um, well, it was just like that second. Um, I don't know if it was when I was trying to go for a steal and got like an elbow to the head or what. Um, and then I was fine and just felt like a little slow and groggy. But, I mean, we were beating Mo Valley by sure. a decent amount. So yeah. it didn't really matter, I guess. Well, then on Saturday, you get hit again. I, at what point in the game did that happen? Um, sometime in the first half, um, they were pressing, and it's when number three got a foul. She came and ran into me and hit my head. I mean, I remember the play. I don't remember, like, the exact time. But, I mean, it. she rang my bell. It hurt a little bit, and I kind of just stopped and teared up a little bit and then just kept playing. Was it like getting punched in the nose when that happens, or what was it like? Um, no, it hurt a lot worse than that. I mean, when you get hit in the nose, you just kind of instantly start crying. Right. But this one, it kind of. Yeah, I know. It, I do that yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you say it is anyway. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. But, um, it, I mean, it forced me to cry, and, I mean, it just it hurt, and just I just kind of stopped. And then I didn't have any other symptoms and felt the same, so I just kept playing. Uh, through all of this, you end up being the most outstanding <laughs> player in the tournament. So how do you explain that? I don't know. All the – I mean, Cassie um, <laughs> kept joking and was like, well, maybe they should keep letting you play and play with the concussion. Yeah. And I was like – she's like, obviously that's not healthy, but – and just joking about the MVP thing and – I mean, that had a lot to do with my teammates, and we played really well against Northwest. So Yeah, what was it like to beat uh, Northwest? Um, I mean, it's a great atmosphere. There weren't, like, a lot of people, but, I mean, just, like, the stadium and the other team. And it was, I mean, we, that's always a fun tournament for us, and we fortunately got to win again, so it's fun. We're talking to Chelsea Meeks from Vincennes, Indiana, and, uh, again, you sit out again tonight uh, here at Pittsburgh State against uh, Calvary uh, Bible, maybe not such a big deal, but as a leading scorer on this team, it could be a big deal tonight, and we're at halftime now, so I guess we'll know by the time we get to that point. But Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Ho coaches, you know, breaking down a lot of film, and her and Coach Broughton have been looking at a lot of things and think that we have a pretty good chance, so hopefully the girls – continue and step up what's your role going to be in the game tonight um i guess kind of just keeping ariel on top of it and helping jess as much as i can since she's starting i mean she did a great job starting against calvary bible but it's a different kind of ball game sure. and so hopefully just kind of trying to help them to stay focused and stay into it and i'm assuming they're going to come out pretty tough and we're not a very good first half team so we need to make sure we step up pretty big tonight and continue through the second half. Can we assume that you're going to be back for Saturday's game at home? I'm really hoping. Um, I actually rode a bike yesterday, last night in practice, and um, did some stuff this morning. And um, I was supposed to see if I had a headache or anything traveling because I've been getting car sick. I have a little bit of a headache, so hopefully Jeff, Right. I don't know. We'll see what he says. And then tomorrow I was going to start running and everything since we don't have practice and do my own thing. And then Friday... Hopefully I have a full day of practice and then play Saturday. Saturday might be a good stepping into game. So, we'll Junior see. guard Chelsea Meeks is our guest, and I'm going to break that down for you because it sounds kind of strange. Junior guard, I you're know. halfway through your career I now, know. even a little bit more with the games you've played in. Yeah. What are you thinking about this time of your career? It's just gone by so fast. I mean, it feels like I'm a sophomore. Somebody asked me the other day, and I was like, oh, sophomore, and I was like, nope, I'm not anymore. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's crazy. Like, my sister's halfway through her high school career and time just goes so fast and I don't know I've learned a lot I mean I really enjoy playing for Jewel and being here I love all playing with all the girls and everything but it's coming to an end pretty quickly yeah yeah it really will and yeah. I think you've probably heard that from more people than just me but yeah. what do you plan on doing after college um I have no idea I have um, a business and psychology degree and I don't know what I want to do with it 
maybe go back to Indiana and help my parents with their business or I want to coach sometime so I don't know if I'd, I'd rather coach college so if coach Cress had maybe a spot whenever you know I graduate stay here for a little bit and help with the college level but I can't imagine there are any basketball jobs in Indiana are there <laughs> yeah I mean my head coach um, in high school always told me that I could come back and have the team and he wants he always says he wants to give it to me in a couple years but I don't know high school is a completely different game coming from college now and so I don't know if I could handle it but it'd be a good starting stone so what's the town of Vincennes like um, we have a, it's a little it's kind of like Liberty to be honest um, it's kind of big and has a lot of places things to do um, when you've lived in Vincennes for a long time you don't really think so but right, sure somebody knew it's it's a bigger town so and what was Reve High School like um, well I graduated with 22 and so it's pretty tiny um, but I really liked it I mean I knew everyone everybody knew you it was a really close knit and then our basketball team was even closer and then that's why one of the reasons why I decided to come to Jewel and stay yeah. so in the small atmosphere yeah I was gonna say that sounds like it'd be an easy transition because yeah. those are two of the things that are true about Jewel as well I, yeah. I, th I think yeah that's I mean whenever coach Kress, um and coach Garrison recruited me um, you know, they talked about the school and the atmosphere and everything. And then when I came, I just fell in love with Jewel. Like, it's a beautiful campus. And I knew that I would have easy time with professors and one-on-one. -on -one and I know it was it was the right choice for me. I just like the small community. So Chelsea Meeks, our guest, who is not playing tonight due to the concussion we've been talking about a little bit. Uh, but back hopefully on Saturday nights. But any goals for the remainder of the year here, both for you and for the team? Do you set personal goals, first of all? Um, Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, um, depending on the game, more. S I mean, sometimes I, I mean, coach likes me being more of a scorer, but sometimes I come in and look to score more, and then other games I'm like, you know what, today's good assist, and I like playing defense, which is kind of unusual for people. Yeah. And I really like getting steals and playing defense and messing around like that. So, um, I don't know. Kind of our main goal is to get further in conference and kind of be higher in conference. I mean, I think we were picked fifth. and On the western side, Yeah, right? I don't think that. I mean, I think that was kind of wrong to pick us that low. Um, I think we pretty much proved ourselves a little bit last year. And we had a lot of opportunities last year to win some more games and just fall short. And I think we're going to use that to our advantage. We're already starting off pretty well. Um, and then hopefully tonight keep staying strong. And we definitely want to end up high on this side of conference. So I know it's early in the year, but what is this team good at? Um, we're good at getting out and going. I mean, we press, I want to say, probably 40 minutes a game. Um, but that's what we do. We play defense. We run. We shoot. We like shooting three. Um, but really, we're like a run-and-gun team. So. Well, it's always fun to talk to you. I'm sorry our time is up, but thank, thank you, you and, and I hope you get well soon. Uh, we you. need you back out there, and uh, although it's great to visit with you, yeah. want to see you in, in uniform. Yeah, me too. So thank Chelsea you. Meeks has been our guest, and we're back with more in just a moment on the High V Halftime Report.